All right, so just a quick update. Um, I, there's a couple thing happening here. Okay. So um, this one's gonna be kind of quick, but uh, this is like day two, day, yeah, night two. We just did two nights of being alone with him. And uh, my husband's in Tampa. Like I said, like we didn't go on the trip. It was just, it was gonna be way too much. Um, I'm glad we didn't though, because I feel like everybody just needed some space. You know what I mean? Um, which is good, which is good. And uh, I'm spending more time with him. I think also more intentional time um, is different when, you know, when you're alone with your kid, I think, versus always being around like your spouse or like other people when you're just by yourself with them, it just feels different. I don't know what it is, but it just feels different. Um, so we're just getting to know each other a little more. Um, he's just, he's a joy but he's a ham. Um, he's teething right now. So he's extremely needy. Um, he's usually like an independent person, like an independent play kind of guy. He's really well, he does really well with that. Um, I'm learning to just kind of give him more space with that. Cause for me, I'm like, okay, am I like needing to be around you, you know? So really trying to stretch those times where he's on his own. <clears throat> and so, um, yeah, he's been teething a lot. It's been very, like, he needs me near. Um, so it's a mix of that and, like, being tired. So sometimes that gets very, like, like the sound stimulation is just like I'm done, you know? And, um, yeah, I just... I've, I'm finding, I'm finding right? It's not a bad thing. I mean, I'm not, I'm not, let me preface. I'm not a heavy drinker. I'm not a alcoholic. I'm not, um, somebody who needs a beverage every day, but you know, those moments where you're like, I could really go for a nice drink right now. Yesterday was that day, girl. <laughs> Yesterday was that day. Um, I asked my mom, I was like, yo, I'm gonna go to Specs. I'm gonna go and like grab a couple of little like little bottles. Um, do you mind? And she's like, no, go for it. So I go and like, I just thought it was just like, my gosh, this is hilarious, you know? Because you're trying to, you have this stigma of like, right? Being a good mom and not being like, what is it? Like the mom juice, like with the wine and whatnot. I'm not a wine drinker, it makes me very tired. Uh, a vodka, tequila, they're like energy drinks for me. Like I get very, I'm a social drinker. So when I went to Specs, um, they were sampling some of the, the vodka that I wanted to grab. I think it was like Weston, Weston Sun or something like that. And, um, and so, yeah, I made like a fresh beverage. I did a little bit of, um, cucumber vodka with like regular vodka. So it's like a double shot. I did, um, I blended cucumbers with lemon and then um, I like put it in there with a little bit of honey. And then I did some sparkling water and some ice. Yum, okay, yum. I don't really like to do a lot of sugars when it comes to drinking. I like it very, I like the taste of alcohol. So it has to be like good alcohol, good flavor and dressing it up, you know? So I had like a little bit of like me time cause I like mixology. I like doing stuff like that. So that was actually really nice. Um, so I made my beverage, uh, me and son went outside. He was, you know, getting his vitamin D. I was on Pinterest and we were just hanging out. Um, and it kind of felt really nice, you know? Uh, I'm learning how to give him attention, but being present at the same time. Um, because he was teething, I didn't want him to feel like I was just ignoring him. So I gave him like a little, um, those little frozen mesh thingies that you can put like fruit in. So I gave him a little, gave him a little bit of that, some mango. And we're just kicking back, you know? So last, last yesterday was really good. Um, yesterday afternoon, I was like learning how to draw on my iPad, just doing some stuff for like, um, some business stuff, you know? And I was just like, wow, like this is, 
this is nice. Okay, this is a rhythm. I'm liking this, you know? Um, and yeah, I, I was in the dumps. I do feel like I was in the dumps and then like I, I'm getting my, my footing, you know, so it's, it's preventing getting in the dumps again and like having like a plan if I do. So yesterday when he was teething and he was just kind of, you know, screaming, I myself was like screaming inside, you know, so I put him down. I was like, I need to walk away. You will be totally fine. You're safe. I walked away. He stopped crying. He starts playing with his hands. And I'm like, am I a fiddle? Are you playing me? So it was, it was pretty funny actually, but enlightening too. Like, no, you don't always have to be there. He's not going to die. Like he's not going to like, you know, pass out from crying. Thank God, you know, cause you know, they get a little, they get a little loud, you know? Um, but Overall, yesterday was a good day. Day before that was really good. Um, we're learning about the what times he goes to like nap and sleep. So he just got put down uh, about 1230. So I think his next sleep window is about 334. And then since we're keeping him up till about 9, 930, um, it's actually doing really well because he like will go to sleep around the time he's supposed to instead of going to bed early and then having a hard time going back to sleep. So I think the schedule is like better, um, but I'm going to need to be going to bed earlier. You know, uh, I'm finding that formula feeding beforehand on top of breastfeeding is helping a lot. I'm finding, um, of course, we're still doing the rain, the sound machine. Um, I did blackout curtains like we've just been doing the whole nine yards um, for a successful sleep, you know, and it's been working. It's been doing really well. Um, right now, my goal is to have this rhythm like back here you know how like your brain processes new information and then once it's back here like you're down you know i want to be that down girl i want to be that down mom that's like i got this you know however it's not like that right now i will fully admit that <laughs> um every day is a new day every day is new things um but overall um we're doing okay we're doing good being alone is pretty interesting. I feel I feel like I'm alone, but I'm not alone because of course I'm taking care of him, but I feel like me being alone, like there's no one around, is um starting to feel a lot better. Before I was like freaking out, didn't know how to do things, was very like needy. I also think that's part of postpartum too, because um you feel like you can't be alone with your baby. And I didn't realize that till later, but I feel more confident figuring it out. Um, when you're a new mom, of course, right? Like you don't know what to do. This is all completely brand new. So feeling confident being alone is confident in other areas of my life, you know? So managing it, time managing, multitasking, um, we're thriving, okay? Like we need to, we're, we're getting into the place of like, all right, I got this, you know, um, but I, I want to have some like protocols or some steps in case I feel like I'm crashing, you know, um, for example, like my beverage, you know, I'm not saying I'm going to drink when I'm unhappy, <laughs> but I'm going to need to know like when I need to take a break, you take a step back, you know what I mean? Um, not be so overexerting myself or like, Sometimes I'm a hover mom. I don't want to be a hover mom. But like when you're hearing your kid cry, you're thinking I'm supposed to be a hover mom, you know? Um, so learning to let him like kind of soothe himself or learn that like it's not it's not the end times, you know what I mean? So building confidence within him is what I really, really, really want. Because the last thing I want is somebody who doesn't have confidence that he's got this, you know? Like I want to teach him that. And sometimes it is saying, hey, mommy's going to step away. Let's take a minute, you know, but, um, we're doing really well. We're doing good. Um, we are on our own again tonight, tomorrow, and I think Monday. So three more nights, but I think we got it. I think we're doing really well. And, uh, tonight we're going to go to a low rider, a low rider show. So, um, 
yeah, it should be good. It should be fun getting him out and about. He does really well outside. So we should be fine. We should be good. So I'm going to do my hair. If you don't follow me on Instagram, you should, because I do all the things there. And uh, we're going to get ready doing the things and the hair and the makeup and the lashes. And this is kind of where I like get ready and like feel like me. So we will see you later. Bye.